Porky and Uncle Dan discovered that the Durango dude had a bullet hole in his shoulder. White Shadow didn't trust the dude, and the young bank robber made Corky take him outside. Matt Brady, the sheriff, found the dude's hat and took it back to his office and reported to the sheriff in Glen Forks. When Corky and White Shadow got home, they saw the hat on Matt's desk. White Shadow recognized the robber's scent on the hat, and grabbing it up in his mouth, dashed out of the office with it, Corky hurrying after him. Now, in just one minute, our story begins for today. you back so soon. Is Corky with you? Where'd he get this hat? That's your hat. Ain't it? Yeah, it's my hat. That bullet hole sure ruined it. Then you're the... the Durango dude. All that about you being held up was a lie, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm the dude. What about it? I'm going to tell my pop. That's what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> Lock him up somewhere. Take that coyote with you. Corky, let's take them into the bedroom. There's no use tempting this young man to do something he'll regret later. Come on, Duchess. Come on. Come on. Never mind, Shadow. Come on, Duchess. Come on out. Sit down and shut up. Now sit down. You're not very polite, are you, Mr. Dude? Didn't anybody ever teach you manners? Shut up. Now, Corky, don't be excited. We know he's a poor, misguided young man, but he won't harm us. Oh, no? Just make a move and see what happens. You are pretty biggity for your britches, aren't you, son? Yeah, think you're pretty tough, don't you, Mr. Dude? I thought I told you to shut up. Boy, just wait till my pop gets his hands on you. He'll knock you down a peg or two. Couldn't wait to tell him I was here, could you? I didn't tell him anything. I didn't have to. He'll catch you, that's for sure. Because my pop's the best darn sheriff in this whole darn state. And that's for darn sure, too. You don't say. Yes, we do say. He's probably got this whole wood surrounded. You haven't got a chance to get away, son. Well, now, maybe I don't want to get away. This isn't a bad spot to hide out in for a while. Like you said, Pop, it's cool and green here, quiet. There's a flock of pesky animals. Let me know if anybody's coming. Now, this is fine. I even have somebody to talk to if I get lonesome. Let your old man come. I'll be waiting for him. You know something, Pop? We'll both be waiting for him.
Shadow. Where's Corky? What's the matter, boy? What do you want? Looking for the sheriff, boy? All right, boy. I'll get my horse and we'll go see if we can find him. Come on. I think he was looking for you. What's the matter, boy? Maybe it's got something to do with Corky, huh? She's over at Uncle Dan's. I better go see what's up. You wait here, Pete. Keep a sharp lookout for the dude. All right, Matt. Can I come along, Sheriff? No, your mother'll just worry about you. You better go home. All right, boy, let's go. Keeping the sheriff. Don't worry. He'll be here. He'll be here. You know, son, you remind me of some of our feathered friends in the forest. Some of them leave the nest before they can rightly fly. And a lot of them come to grief that way. Oh, they think they know more than their folks. And they try to fly before their wings are strong enough. Yeah, and they end up in some ornery bobcat's tummy. The little dummies. Anybody ever tell you you talk too much? Ah, poo. Too bad, son, that a fine, upstanding young man like you had to cross the line. Yeah, what line is that? The line between right and wrong. Oh, now, whether you like it or not, son, the good Lord gave us certain rules and laws, not to clip our wings or to tie our hands, but for our own protection, so that we wouldn't get into trouble. Look, Pop, go ahead and reform that fellow snitch if you want to, but lay off of me, because I ain't interested. Thanks, Gabby. Now, both of you, over here by the door. Come on. Sheriff. Drop your holster on the ground. Do as I say or I put a bullet in your kid. Come and get him, Pop. Sorry, Corky. Hold on to that dog. Take it easy, Shadow. He's got the drop on us, but he won't get away with it. Get over by that rock, Sheriff. Take that dog with you. Tough luck, boy, but we walked right into this one.
I'm going to have to go back to town and find me another horse and a gun. Fine sheriff I am. Losing my gun, get my horse stole right out from under me. Wasn't your fault, Pop. He'd have shot me dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Duchess. We forgot all about her. Just a minute, girl. The dude made us put her and Shadow in the bedroom. That's when he jumped out of the window and oh, came and got oh. you. Here comes Shadow. Oh, darn, he must have lost him. You lost him, huh, boy? Golly, Shadow. What'd you let him get away for? Oh, don't blame him, Corky. That Durango dude's a pretty smart young fella. He knows all the tricks. Well, Chef, we gonna let him get away? Don't worry, Corky. He can't get far. I got men all around these woods. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. Well, we gotta go back to town first so I can get another horse. Well, keep your eye out for him, Uncle Dan. He may double back this way once he finds out we got him cornered. Yeah, Uncle Dan. He's a real tough fella. Oh, no, he's not so tough, Corky. He's just a little mixed up, poor fella. Save your sympathy, Uncle Dan. I'd sooner coddle a rattlesnake. Well, now, you know, I got a feeling he's not as bad as they say. You got a feeling. He just held up the bank over at Glen Forks, didn't he? I think he's responsible for all these other robberies we've been having around here the last few months. Well, it's a shame. A nice young fella like him could have got someplace in the world if he put his mind to it. Money, that's what it is. Easy money. That's what causes all the trouble. Go where you will. You'll always find someone trying to make easy money. Yeah. Come on, Corky. We better get out of these woods before dark. Goodbye, Uncle Dan. And if anything happens, you send Gabby or Duchess after it. All right. Come on, Shadow. Ah, uh, Snitch. Looks pretty bad for our young fella. That's the trouble. No matter how smart they are, they always get caught. Now, that's the trouble with it, Snitch. A fella's got to pay his debts, whether they're good or bad. something. <laughs> I guess that's what I heard. There's a lot of good venison steak on the hoof there. Let's fan out, boy. The black key. The black key. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, darn. What do they have to invent the black key for anyway? I gotta go in here a minute, check with the boys, dig up a new horse, and maybe we can have a bite of supper. What are we gonna eat here for? Why can't we go home? Oh, come on now, Corky. Don't tell me you're jealous of Dolly Porter's cooking. Me jealous? Who? Why well, can cook just as good as she can. No. Uh, well, almost. Uh, come on, Freddie will be glad to see you. Oh, him. He's a nice little fellow, Dolly's boy. There you are, Corky. Are you all right, honey? Oh, I'm fine, thanks, Miss Porter. What happened, Corky? Oh, nothing much. Just me and Shadow caught the Durango dude. That's all. You caught? 
caught the goose? She sure did. Golly. Of course, he got away again. Yeah, he had a trap all set for me. He used Corky as a shield. But he's still out there in those woods someplace. Well, Chuck, better round me up a few more men in case he tries to break through. Well, he'll have to be a magician to get past us, Sheriff. Hey, Dolly, save the pie. I'll be right back. How about some supper, Corky? You must be hungry after all that. There's roast beef on the menu with noodles, the kind your daddy likes. No, thanks, Miss Porter. I'm not a bit hungry. Nonsense, Corky. Of course you're hungry. It's way past your supper time. You eat while I go rustle up another horse. Oh, Matt, I almost forgot. Sheriff Martin just called. Said for you to call him. Oh, thanks, darling. So, Mabel, Matt, get me Martin at Glen Forks, please. Freddie, how would you like to eat your supper with Corky? Sure, Mom. I'm as hungry as a bear after all that darn practicing. <laughs> you like flat roast, don't you? Oh, I, I guess so. Oh, I'm not very hungry, Miss Porter. I'll have to teach you how to make it. Then you can fix it for your pop. Oh, I know how to make it. Well, the zap and pan dowdy for dessert with whipped cream. Now, you like that, don't you? Well, it's not my very most favorite dessert, but I guess I can eat it for once. Sit down. Yeah, he was out on Uncle Dan's. Well, that's a tough break, but I had to protect Corky. Well, yeah, I am putting on more men, but maybe you better come over and lend us a hand. All right, Matt. We'll be right over. And uh, maybe you'd better lock up that youngster of yours before she takes it into her head to round up the dude herself. And the only way to stop her is toss her in the clink. All right, I'll see you when you get here. Well, Dolly. Save me an order of that pot roast. Better make it a double order. All right, Matt. It's nice and tender. Be right back. Is that really true, Corky? What? What your pa said about you catching the dew. Sure is. There was nothing to it, though. Shout out found him lying by the water. Then we took him to Uncle Dan. Bet you were scared. What a... He's not so tough. He talks biggity. But before we get through with him, he'll be bellowing like a branded cat. Gosh, and all by yourself. That's pretty good for a girl. <laughs> hey, well, I told you that Shadow helped me. And besides, he has fainted. He was shot. <laughs> That's right, Shadow. You are a good boy. <laughs> Lots to give. He can tame an army fox when he plays away on. 